Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm here with Wildflowers on Apple Arcade, and I'm gonna give it a try. Enjoy! Excuse me, would you happen to know the way to Hazel Wilde's farm? Tara? Oh my goodness, it really is you, isn't it? Lena? I haven't seen you since I was tiny. It's good to see you again. I heard you were coming to stay with your grandma, Hazel. Now, do you remember the way? <laughs> uh, no. I don't remember much from that time. No problem. Go up the stairs behind me and turn left at the top. Then just follow your nose till you get to Hazel's house. Go up the stairs behind you, then turn left and follow the path. Got it. Uh, what in the world? It's tap and hold to, okay, it's weird. It's a little odd control scheme. Not sure why it isn't just an invisible joystick. Yeah, this feels a little weird. Hey, I'm Tara. Oh, the new girl. I'm Francis. Ashante. Oh, you speak French? Well, no. I speak Spanish, though. Bienvenidos to our little seaside pueblo. Gracias. I You're nearly there. It's just down that third path, opposite the giant bell. I accidentally skipped some dialogue. I think I've gotten a bit turned around. Do you know the way to my Grandma Hazel's house? You're nearly there. It's just down that dirt path, opposite the giant bell. What dirt path? Blasted, rusty old crank. Huh. I ought to blast you. My charm will bind, turn, and unwind. Ha 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 ha! Look at it go! Uh, Grandma? Oh, it's you! Oh, my little honeybee! <laughs> I'm not so little anymore, Grandma. No, I suppose not. I'm so glad you've come. Me too. How can I help out around here? I don't know much about farming, but maybe you can show me the ropes. Uh, well, uh, oh, now that you mention it, uh, I haven't got the spring crop of potatoes in yet. Let me help, Grandma. Why don't you give me those seeds and I can get them planted? That would be a good start. Here's the seeds. Just 
Head over to one of the garden beds there and and scatter them about. It's a little too easy to accidentally skip dialogue. Okay. You're natural. Now you'll need to water them if you want them to grow. You can fill it up at this old well. Why is it so rusty? There now. That should do it. It'll take a few days to grow, but it's a start. Oh, and I was thinking about cooking up some mushrooms. How would you like mushroom soup for dinner? Mmm. Is it the same one you used to make when I was little? Because if it is, yes, please. <laughs> Lovely. You'll find plenty of mushrooms good for eating if you head up that mountain path a little. Wait, we have to pick the mushrooms ourselves? <laughs> no, this isn't the city, honeybee. Besides, freshly picked mushrooms taste better. Yeah, if they're not the kind that poison you. You'll do just fine. <laughs> I'll do my best. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, if you wanted to get some new seeds in town, it might be a good time to stop by and see the mayor. Introduce yourself. He's at Town Hall, a big building in the center of town with a flag above the door. You can't miss it. I'll take good care of you and this farm, Grandma. I'm just so glad you're here, my sweet little honeybee. All right, here I am, farming. This place has changed so much. It'll take a lot of work to get back to how I remember. I don't know if city life has prepared me for this, but I'm ready to give it my best. Glad it's voice acted. Oh, so I can tap to move. Why didn't that work before? Okay, no, I can't anymore. What's going on? It's right. It's... It's... Not... Hey! I remember this mine! It looked way less run down when I was seven. But so did everything around here. The tap to move is a little... weird. At least it has fairly good tap-finding. But I don't know why before when I tap- Yeah, the tapping to move is not- It sometimes takes several taps. I don't know why. No, it's really not very responsive. Ah, spring is the time when the earth reawakens. You can forage for the gifts the land offers up if you know where to look. Have you found any mushrooms? Will these work? Those are nice, plump ones. You're a natural forager. When I was out searching, I came across that old mine. You used to tell me that there were goblins inside, remember? <laughs> I told you that, did I? <laughs> it was a, a smart way of keeping a curious little girl out of danger. The wood in the support rotted clean through. Shame. I'm sure there's still perfectly good iron and copper down there. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the mushroom stew prepared. I'm a bit tired just now. Potatoes will take a while to grow. Keep watering them. 
Every day. I don't know why it, it's it's really not responsive. I don't get it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't get it. It's it's a little annoying. Oh, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am Mayor Otto Soft, and you must be the new voter. I mean, neighbor. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, that's, that's me. If there is anything you need, I'm the one to speak to. We're a friendly town here at Fairhaven. We want to make sure you're settled in well. To that end, we want you to meet everyone, so we've made it a little game. The fine Fairhaven folk will let me know after they've met you. That way, I can give you a prize after you've met everyone. It's really quite clever and progressive. <laughs> Plus a little bit creepy. <laughs> You're funny. Anyway, come and see me after you've met everyone. <laughs> I like the humor. It's a game. <laughs> All right, let's talk to people. Here's a school. Hello. Are you my mom's new friend? Depends. Who's your mom? Lena. Then yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Tara. Nice to meet you too. I'm Finn. Hello. You're a stranger. <laughs> yes, I I just moved here. I'm Tara. What's your name? Emmy. Well, now we're not strangers anymore, are we? Welcome. I am Vanessa Soft, First Lady of Fairhaven. Pleasure to meet you. How she's well, to be honest, she's not doing too well. That's why I'm here. It's wonderful that you came to help her out. Do let me know if there is any way I can help. It's really way too easy to accidentally skip. It's weird because it's super easy to skip, but it's really hard. Like the, it's, the controls are terrible for movement. I'm Tara. I just moved to town. Ah, you must be Hazel's granddaughter. It sure is great to meet you. I'm Parker, Lena's husband. She asked me to stop by your farm in a day or two and show you around. You'll want to know where Lena's general store is. It's hard to run a farm without it. I'll be by before you know it to point it out to you. I can make a bigger shed, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. I could make this whole area a place for gardening, but you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. I really wish the controls were better. Um, huh. 
Am I not allowed, not able to knock or anything? Alright, whatever. At least I can jump over fences. That makes things a little easier. What is going on? Alright, I don't know. Looks like it's getting dark. Nobody's around. Welcome to the island. I am Messenger Cameron Connor. Hey! As one newcomer to another, please let me know if there's anything I could do to help. Oh my gosh, you've got to be Tara! Hazel's been hyping you up for weeks now. Well, now I'm embarrassed. Don't be. It's sweet. I wish I had a grandma here to talk about how great I am. <laughs> anyway, I'm Violet. Pleased to meet you, Violet. We don't get too many new faces around here in Fairhaven, so let me know if you ever want to hang out. Voice acting is great. Oh, hey, you're new here. I'm Sebastian. Who are you? I'm Tara. I just moved here to help out my grandma Hazel. Do you know her? Oh, yeah. Hazel's cool. Like, for a grown-up. Uh, I'll see you around. <laughs> I don't know why I can't, why it takes like five taps to get it to work sometimes. Yes, I am that Angus. Excuse me? Oh, I could tell you were wondering if you recognized me. I am indeed the Angus who was on an episode of Baking Battles. <laughs> Always nice to meet a fan. Yes, that is totally a show that I have indeed heard of and watch. Oh, my little claim to fame. I run the bakery in our humble town. I do like the humor. <laughs> I was... I, I didn't expect it to be a funny game from... the looks of it. Um... Maybe I should go home? Why is that kid still playing around on the... In the park, it's getting dark. Hello, I don't think I've seen you before. I run Kathy Moretti, the diner in town. Stop by any time. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm I'm new here. You're Hazel's granddaughter! Welcome! I hope you come by soon. Moving always works up an appetite. Oh! Where are my manners? I'm Sophia. Hey, Sophia. I'm Tara. It's nice to meet you. Okay. How do I clear out? Ooh, I can collect that. How do I? I don't know how to clear out this stuff. Wait, is that my bed? Oh, am I ready for bed? Oh. 
Everything's so purple. Huh. Move. Lena brought us some extra milk while you were out, so I made us a delicious mushroom soup sure to warm our bellies. And your, your shirt had the right number of, uh, gills or whatever? We're not going to start seeing things or frothing at the mouth? Oh no, if I gave you something that made you see things, it'd be on purpose. Uh, Grandma! <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> honeybee. Now, I have another chore for you that would be a great help, if you don't mind. Of course, Grandma. What is it? Some wood for the fire would be nice. Nights are still cold in the spring around here. Could you go and find a couple of the big old logs lying around the farm, chop them up for me, and bring me the wood? Sure thing, Grandma. Oh, you'll need this to get started. <laughs> If you wander around the farm, you'll find logs lying on the ground. Could you chop some of those for me and bring me the wood? Okay, help. <sighs> I just love the peace here. I guess that's why I've never moved anywhere else. Do you think that's strange? No, Grandma. I think it's peaceful here, too. Well... Maybe we're both strange. <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting a little frustrated with these controls. What? It's me, Parker again. I stopped by just like I promised. How are you settling in? I'm getting there. I hear you. I moved here from the city myself ten years ago. Oh. How long did it take you to feel comfortable here? I'll let you know. Lena's busy right now, so I wanted to show you the way to the general store. It's really important for anyone running a farm because she can buy all your produce and sell you new seeds. It'll be hard to make ends meet if you can't sell your goods. I'm heading there now if you want to tag along. Yes, that would be fantastic. I get turned around in town sometimes. Great. Follow me. That little joke, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll let you know when I feel comfortable. The humor is pretty spot on. All right, come on, dude. You're a little slow, man. Okay. There you are, and you brought Tara. Wonderful. Tara, I can't wait to buy your fresh crops. And if you need seeds, I can sell you whatever's in season. Oh, Parker, we need to talk about the kids. They were giggling over breakfast, so I searched Finn's backpack and found a whoopee cushion in there. Again! <laughs> I, I mean, that's that's terrible. Uh, see? 
That's the problem right there. You think it's funny, and I have to be mommy cop. No, I'm taking this seriously, really. Okay, whatever. You can be the one to go to the next parent-teacher conference. I'm tired of getting stared down by Vanessa. Oh. Ah, uh, ooh, new guy. Why isn't it working? Hey, bro. Hey, but uh, I I'm not a bro. Ah. Uh. My name's Kai. Check it out. This is my kiosk. I'm here, you know, whenever. It's like a pop-up shop. I only sell the most killer stuff I find off-island. Take a look! But, like I say, if you fall in love with something, better get it now. The merchandise is just whatever feels right in the moment. You know? Okay. Ah, it's expensive. Hey, how's it going? I'm Damon. You're Hazel's granddaughter, yeah? How did you guess? You got the same eyes. They say, I'm beautiful, but I don't suffer fools. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I run the bar. Stop by for good vibes and a sympathetic ear any old time. Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Oh, hey, Bruno. Damon, I want to settle up for last night. Sorry I didn't have it on me at the time. <laughs> That's all right. I knew you were good for it, but, uh, <laughs> thanks. Fish just haven't been biting lately. But I got Otto to float me for a week. <sighs> I wish you hadn't told me that. Your son already has it out for me, Bruno. That's not so. He's just a teetotaler, is all. And who's your new friend here? Guten Tag. You're Hazel's granddaughter, aren't you? Yes. Are you German? And also psychic? <laughs> I'm Bruno. Don't actually speak much of my native tongue, but I try to keep up some traditions. And you're just a picture of your grandma when she was a girl. I am? Yeah! She was a real spitfire back then, too. Hasn't changed much. I see you met Damon. Tara, watch out for this boy. He's trouble. Hey, I'm trying to make a good first impression here. Do you mind? Mm. The dialogue is great. The the movement is not great. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the art style, but I'm liking the dialogue enough that I might stick with it anyway. Hmm. We met him already. You're a recent arrival, right? Did Otto have you play that meet everyone game? <laughs> he sure did. But... I found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the League's mission to the town. Before I knew it, I had four new members. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, the cemetery. Sorry about the noise outside. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, there's more here. Huh. Weird. I don't know how to... Can I... Can I knock down trees? I don't know. Well, okay, there's construction going on outside. Sorry about that. Who's that guy? That's a new guy. Come on, new guy. Talk to me. Talk to me, man. Don't run away. Where are you going? Hi, I'm Tara. I just moved to town. You look just like I pictured. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, being Hazel's granddaughter, I mean. Oh, and you are... Been many things, but if it's a name you're looking for, folks here call me 
Shelby. the flower shop here in town if you ever need anything <laughs> yeah yeah violet a flower it's hilarious <laughs> look i don't even like flowers that much but i could set my own hours i like being able to be there when my little brother gets home from school that's so nice how old is the little guy 16 but he still likes it when i make him a snack okay really wish it wasn't so easy to skip dialogue oh my god Controls could use some improvement. Do you ask every new resident to play the meet everyone game? Oh, yes. After all, that idea won me third place in the icebreaker innovation category at the annual mayoral convention. Congratulations. Oh, hush. It's hardly worth mentioning. Hmm. If you ever have extra baked goods to sell, let me know. I'm always happy to mix things up for my customers. No, what's this? Uh, I'll have to buy that later. Ugh, oh, this noise outside. Okay, um... New person? Ah, hello there! Nice to see a new face around here. Hi, I'm Hazel Wild's granddaughter, Tara. Oh, Hazel was so kind to me when I first moved here. Used to let me cut through a property to get to the old mine. Of course, that was before the supports in the entrance gave out. There's still good ore down there, I suspect. Or... Oh, sorry. I didn't introduce myself. I'm Natalia, and I own the blacksmith. I can melt down ore into ingots and upgrade any of your farm tools for you. I don't have any farm tools. Ah, there we go. Oh no. Well, this is gonna be annoying. Um, not thrilled with how that works. Each hit has to be done separately? It can't be automated? Uh, this part might make... This part might do me in. of strength. I could eat some food to recover some strength. Or try again tomorrow. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is where these kind of games kind of lose me. <sighs> I 
I could. Eat oh, for fudge's sake. What is this? No! If you wander around the farm, you'll find logs lying on the ground. Could you chop some of those for me and bring me the wood? Uh. Potatoes will take a while to grow. Keep watering them every day. Okay, I guess I don't have enough wood. All right, let's sleep then. Is it time for bed? Seems such an arbitrary thing, this strength thing. Ah, uh, these kind of games kind of get to me. It's so... Oh, are your allergies acting up? Ah, oh, no, it's all the dust in the front room. But sweeping makes my back ache, so I've turned a blind eye for no months now. But that's exactly what I'm here to help with, Grandma. Then would you mind showing those dust bunnies the front door? There's a broom in my room you can use. You wait out here. Those dust bunnies have no idea what's coming for them. I'll have to move this rug to make real headway. Whoa! Is that an actual trapdoor? Jeez, Grandma! What are you keeping down there? So, the trapdoor under the rug... Hmm? What is it for? Preserves and pickles? Or old machinery? It's not important, honeybee. Will you be out and about tonight? Probably, but I... Could you fetch me some moonflower? It only blooms after sunset. You'll know it by the white blossoms. See, my moonflower tea blend makes me feel so healthy. I get a blush on these old cheeks. Go right past Parker's workshop into the woods and you'll find what you need. I feel like I'm getting redirected here. I, at my age, it's awfully hard to hear certain things. Did you... Put the rug back in place. Yes, Grandma, but... Uh, but are you brewing moonshine down there? You can tell me if you're brewing moonshine. Mm, I can already taste that tea. Mm. That was normal. Oh my god. Oh, can't. Hmm. I guess I can't fish yet.
How come that only took one hit this time? I'm Tara, Hazel Wilde's granddaughter. Nice to meet you. No, I remember you. You used to run past my farm on the way to the beach when you were little. Yes! And Grandma always told me to mind that I didn't trample your crops. You're Thomas, right? Yep. Gosh, your farm has the most stunning view on the whole island. I'm not selling. I, I didn't mean... Your grandma needs help on her farm. But it's not as easy as just moving here and picking up a pitchfork. I know. I'm here to learn. For Hazel's sake, I hope you learn quick. Hmm. That's weird. the controls were better. It's weird having to drag my finger around. Hey, this is a big area. It's so noisy outside. Kitty. Oh, such a pretty girl. Come here. Oh, I... oh, what a good purr. I want more love from the cat. Come on. Ooh, bananas. Oh, there's so much noise outside. I guess. Oh, 
Hey, it's this guy again. I know what you must be thinking. Why does old Shelby live in the woods? Oh, well, it's, it's really pretty and it, it's quiet. Don't patronize me, Missy. Truth is, there are riches here the untrained eye can't see. You bring me forageables, and I'll pay you fairly for your troubles. I don't mind helping you out. You don't have to pay me. <laughs> I'm a hermit, not a pauper. Don't need charity from no one. My bones may be getting old, but my mind's as sharp as a... Mm, is I... Yeah, sharp as a... Attack? Don't interrupt. Young folks these days. No respect for their elders. <laughs> I like him. No person? Not no person. Oh, I meant to ask you, have you met Parker the carpenter yet? He really helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members. Hmm. Oh my god. I can't go in, I guess. Where the hell am I? Oh. Hi, I'm Kim. Hey, Kim. I'm Tara. I just moved here from the city. Oh. So what sent you screaming from the city? Dead end job? Sociopaths on dating apps? Both, to be honest. Everything in my life kind of fell apart all at once. Ah, the city is truly a buffet of hot garbage, isn't it? I know that shouldn't make me hungry, but it does. This is the butcher. We only sell humanely treated animal products. Right now, I have to source the meat from off-island. But we'll hopefully get a new rancher to move here soon. Cool. Nice to meet you. Ah, no. Hi, are you settling in okay? I'm still figuring out my way around and meeting everyone. Well, take your time. A new town can be overwhelming. And some of the folks here are a little... more overwhelming than others. Did I meet everyone? I mean, who am I missing? Aha. <laughs> and who is this beautiful creature I see? I, uh, what, uh, I'm Tara, Hazel's granddaughter. <laughs> Hazel told me her granddaughter was coming to town, but didn't mention that she was so lovely. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm Amira. The doctor here in Fairhaven. I've been taking care of your grandmother. Oh, wow. Thank you. I came as soon as I heard she was sick. She's lucky to have such a caring family. Well, I mean, to be honest, we kind of fell out of touch for a while. I'm trying to make up for lost time. We can't regain lost time. But you're here for her now. That is enough. Hmm. Who 
am I missing? Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda. And no, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. I don't know. What am I missing? Go here, I guess. Okay, mushrooms and stuff. shouldn't spy on strange people creepily creeping through the woods at night. Come along, Elder Hazel. Don't rush me, I'm coming. Grandma? Where did she go? She shouldn't be out here at night. Elder Hazel, this is the third time you've come to the circle without your robe and mask. This is an unacceptable risk. Bah. It's time for us to come out of hiding. The town won't be afraid of witches if they know that we're their neighbors. People seem nice until the day comes when they need a scapegoat for their troubles. Then people become mobs. Well, I didn't bring Terra here so she could skulk around like she's doing something wrong just by being who she is. So you think your intuition was right then? She has the gift? When will she be ready to join us? Join them? You hear something? Uh-oh. Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Hmm. There's a plaque that reads, This beloved tree be old as the town itself. Why are there peanuts lying around? Oh, 
Oh, that's so noisy. I'm sorry. Really is clunky. <laughs> Can I go? If there's no quick travel. I wish there was some quick travel because this is going to get a little old. Running back and forth. Oh, it's really noisy outside. myself to bed earlier today. Well, it's a little annoying. Grandma, so uh, can we talk about the fact that I saw you with some people in masks and robes in the woods last night? It would be nice to talk after I've had some tea. Grandma. Oh, yes, yeah, some tea would really hit the spot. <laughs> oh, that wood looks nice and dry and ready to burn. Great. Thank you for doing that for me. It was no trouble. Phew. It was hard work, though. Oh, look at you. You're plum tuckered out. What do they teach young girls in the city these days, anyway? If you work too hard and don't keep an eye on your energy, you're likely to pass out. But there's an easy solution. Good old-fashioned country cooking. Here's another serving of the soup I made earlier. It'll fix you right up. See, a bit of food is all you need when your energy is low, and then you're right as rain. For a while, you still need plenty of sleep. Even my cooking is no match for a good night's rest. But Grandma, you're the one who should be resting. I don't want you troubling yourself to cook for me. Ah, is that your way of trying to get my recipe book? Did Sophia put you up to it? She's always trying to get a peek at my recipes, but you can tell her they stay in the family. I hide my recipe book in the stove. She never thinks to look in there. <laughs> Go on. Try one. Okay. Well, which one is your favorite? I am quite partial to mushroom risotto. <laughs> I think I have everything we need. Now, I've written down the recipe here. Head on over to the stove. Give it a try. Here. 
Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Mm. Oh, my. Oh, you make a very potent brew. Here's that key to the basement that you asked about. But the hooded strangers? Go on down, my dear. It will all make sense, I promise. Tell me, honeybee, does Arthur mind that you left your job in the city to come help me? Well, I didn't really leave my job. My job left me. Our site got acquired, but the new parent company just wanted our subscriber list, not our editors. Maybe Dad wishes I was using my degree in a new job in the city. But then who would help you here? He's not going to come do farm work. <laughs> That's for certain. Your father has the blackest thumb I've ever known. Even when he was a boy. Oh, we were sad when he left. But the garden sure wasn't. Okay. I'm doing it while she's sitting on there? Okay. That's weird. Okay, I definitely have more questions than answers now. Uh, is that a cauldron? Not just any cauldron, your cauldron. What? Oh, no, I'm not a... Witch? Oh, my dear, yes, you are. No layperson could make a brew like that on her first try. I feel as spry as I did 50 years ago. This basement is your sanctum. You have your cauldron, of course. Wait, wait, wait. is Dad a witch or, 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 or warlock or... Arthur? Oh, no. Oh, no, honeybee. He's more conventional. I'm afraid. But I saw that spark of magic in your eyes the first time I held you. I've always known you would be an extraordinary witch. But the coven needs proof before they'll accept you. Coven? Well, those folks in the woods, of course. They put a charm on the bramble wall, so you'll need a wand to open it. This is, uh... Kind of a lot to learn all at once. I understand, honeybee. When you're ready, read this incantation before the special silver willow in the woods. Then you'll have a branch to make your first wand. Let's go do that. Wait, where is... Okay. Oh. Let me into the woods. I place a monthly order for fresh flowers, Violet. It, it's not like I asked for a rush job. I'm sorry. It's just that the fairy's running behind schedule. Again. Maybe if the fairy wasn't underfunded, this wouldn't happen. Make excuses if you like. Late is late, as I tell my students. Bad time? Ugh, no. It's fine. I just... When my dad was mayor, the fairy always ran on time. Hey. Do you have any wildflowers growing on your farm? Maybe I could make some substitutions. Uh, sort of? How do you feel about thistles? You're suggesting I make a bouquet out of thistles? Thistles? Oh, look, if you don't want them... Did you hear me say no? The sooner I can get Vanessa out of my hair, the better. So... 
Anything I can put in my bouquets? Please tell me you have the thistles I asked for. They're harder to find than I thought. Well, hurry up. The hothouse blooms still haven't come. And I think Vanessa's planning some fancy dinner. So, so she's not gonna let this one go. My mom said I should make an effort to make you feel welcome in town or whatever. So, um, hi, I guess. <laughs> I'm Juliet. Hey, Juliet. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bye. Where's the... Let me get a wand. I should take a break soon, though. Uh, let's see. The inscription says, If I be worthy, ancient tree, give a silver branch to me. Please? I mean, uh, uh, thanks, magic tree! Wow. I really, really, really wish that there was fast travel. I don't understand why it makes me do everything. Why it makes- why I can't just- Can I not tap on the map to go somewhere? It's like really frustrating to have to do everything the long way. Who are you? Someone I can't talk to? Wonderful! The last citizen has let me know that you've been introduced. As promised, here is your reward for playing our little game. We hope it helped you acclimatize. Uh, thanks, uh... Money's great too, though. That's it? Really? Messenger Connor told me you said hello! I'm so pleased you two spoke. The building he transformed into the Consciousness Center was a real eyesore. And look at it now! He's a shining example of how to change a community for the better. Let's get home. Yeah, I really don't understand why everything is so freaking slow to get to. I really like the game. The I like interacting with people. I don't want to walk around forever, though. It's so time-consuming. It's such a waste. For what? Is your wand ready? Yes. Look! Careful where you point that thing. Oh my, you have a lot to learn. It's time for you to meet the coven. Are you ready to go? Sure. Let's go. Okay. The brambles only allow friends of the coven through. 
So this incantation helps it to identify you. Once it meets you, it'll know you're a friend and let you through from now on. Say the spell when you're ready. A friend of the coven comes to you. Unravel your brambles and let me through. Well done. Now, let's head on up. <sighs> Grandma, what is this place? Who are these people? Shh, shh, shh. You've got to be properly introduced. Who approaches the sacred circle? I bring one who wishes to know the mysteries of this coven. Um, hi. Welcome, Initiate. Elder Hazel has told us so much about you. I am the High Priestess of this coven. Before you can join us, you must vow to never reveal the location of our circle or the details of our rights to any others. Do you promise to abide by our covenants? Sure. Um, I promise. I'm so excited that I'm a witch. This is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, about that, honeybee. You're not a witch. Not yet. First, you must cast the initiation rite. Oh, okay. Um, but how do I, how do I do that? Speak to the Farseer over yonder. He will explain the art of incantations. <laughs> I welcome you to this gathering. Hey, welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. We meet every night. Huh. Are you the Farseer? What? Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. Though no, I'm nearsighted. Farseer. <laughs> you know, you sound a little bit like... You've no idea who I am. I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to sit here playing guessing games? Or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up. And there won't be much left of you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. Hmm. Weird. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. I see. Far. Like you've got great vision? Visions. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, your magicalness. High Priestess works fine, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, High Priestess, how long has this coven been in Fairhaven? Witches have always been drawn here, and because of that, the coven has been here for many, many generations. Okay, how do I save? Tap and drag, joist. Oh! How do I save? Is it automatic?
The altar is where we perform important rituals, like turning the season. Continue with your training, honeybee, and you'll be prepared when the moment comes. Um... All right, I'm going to assume that if I quit to the menu, it'll save. Oh, it saves exactly where it was. Okay. So that is um, Wildflowers. Check it out on Apple Arcade. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.